You know how we do it, we have funky music in our ear. We get to right to ain't no fighting, we just sitting there trying to win. Hello sports fans and welcome back to Between Classes Sports. I'm your host Nicholas Austin Holiday, and I'm rolling so solo today as you can see. But we have a lot of action. Football season kicked off for the 2015-2016 season. And what a, what a great few weeks it's been so far. Right now I'm going to jump into the Florida schools and run down the list of what happened with each school. So first we have Miami and Nebraska. Miami wins this game 36-33 in overtime. When I checked the game for the first time, Miami was up 30, 30 to 10. Now, I don't know where along the way Nebraska came back into the game, but I know there was a lot of fans calling for Al Golden's head. Now, I'm glad, I'm glad Miami got the win. That was a big win. They needed that. It had been a while since they had gotten a big win over a Power 5 team. But you know what? You have to put a team away when you're up like that. You know, I, give, I, I heard Yerby did great for Miami. And we all know Brad Kaya, the Messiah as they call him, is well on his way to stardom. But you know what, as a team win, it's not very impressive. You have to, if you're up by 20 points, you have to put the team away when you can, and they didn't. So hopefully Al Golden can get their heads on right, and next week they can come out swinging. Uh, next we have Florida and Kentucky. Florida beat Kentucky, I believe that's not 29 straight years, 29 straight seasons that Florida beat Kentucky. I'm not really sure what Mark Stoops is doing in Kentucky right now. I know he hasn't been there long, but to lose 29 straight to a team, even though that's not Mark Stoops that's lost that many times as a program, if you lose 29 straight games to a, another program, it's probably time to start wrapping your program up to shut it down because that's not working. I know a lot of Kentucky fans had a lot of hope that Kentucky would come out swinging this year and possibly win eight games, but right now, that's not looking like it's going to happen. But Good win for Florida, uh, the Miguel and area, the Miguel and era. Uh, they look they have their quarterback now, Will Greer. Looks like he beat out Treon Harris. So, you know, hopefully Treon Harris can kind of get the hopefully Treon can get back in the mix, but right now it's Will Greer's team to take it all the way and we'll see how far they go. Next we have USF, which lost to Maryland. I know a lot of USF fans were, you know, pretty happy when they started off the season running up the score on FAMU. But unfortunately, they've lost the next two games. Maryland's not FAMU. I'm not sure why they got so happy because USF was a favorite to beat FAMU. And I tried to let the people I know that are USF fans that that wasn't a great win because FAMU is not in a good spot right now. So, you know, I, I'm not sure what's going on with USF. Uh, hopefully Taggart can get them back on track. You know, USF has some great players, Dearness Johnson, Marlon Mack. So they have some really strong players. They have a really strong defensive line. So hopefully they can kind of gel together and, you know, at least maybe go 500 for the season. You know, last year they won four games. So even just winning six games this year, even though it doesn't sound like a lot, that would be really big for Taggart and showing progress for the program. Next we have UCF loses to Furman, 16-15. to Not a lot to say about UCF right now this season, except they're just not good. Uh, they lost to USF. Everybody thought that UCF would win that game. Uh, I mean, losing to Furman is not helping. They also got blown out by Stanford, which is not, you know, that's, not, that's nothing to hang your head on because Stanford is a strong program and they're in a much better place than UCF. So we'll see what UCF can do down the line. Hopefully O'Leary can get them right, get them back on track, and they can just, you know, at least hit 500 for the season. Possibly right now they're 0-3, so it's not looking like they will end up doing that. FIU beats North Carolina Central. 39 to 14, not a lot to say about that. FIU should have won that game. They should have won big. So good job handling business where you needed to, FIU. FAU loses to Buffalo, 33 to 15. FAU, they're an enigma somewhat. They play Miami. They hang with Miami tough. You know, they're battling back and forth with Miami. And then, look at this, they, they turn around and then lose to Buffalo, 33 to 15. FAU is just one of those lower tier program that doesn't seem like they're ever going to really make that next jump into big time D1 football. But you know what? That's okay. Every team can't be big time Division One football. So as long as they can kind of get solid in their conference and 
you know, win maybe between six and eight games a year, you know, if possible, that would be great for FAU. FAMU loses to South Carolina State 36-0, my alma mater, 0-3 to start the season off with a big loss to USF, uh, a big loss to Sanford, and now a blowout loss to South Carolina State. I know this is Alex Wood's first season, so he has to, you know, he needs time to kind of get family on track and bring his culture in along with his players. But a lot of the fans aren't happy with this. They're not happy with an 0-3 start. And team, you know, fans, our boosters, everybody, students, everybody wants to see progress. You know, they want to see, even if, you're, even if you're losing games, if they can see progress and they can see where your team is going, a lot of fans, a lot of fans are okay with that. But right now, a lot of fans aren't seeing progress. And I think that's why a lot of people are upset. There's people that aren't going to the Classic anymore. You know, there's people that, you know, there's, there's people that they just don't want to do it. They don't want to go to the Atlanta Classic. They don't want to go to the Classic in Orlando. They don't want to go to the game that they have season tickets. And that's not good. You really want to instill confidence in your fan base. So, you know what? I mean, Alex Wood, he's going to need a few seasons because FAMU has been bad for a while. So, I think he can get back on track. He has an NFL pedigree. I think he has a strong coaching staff in place. So, you know, calm down, fans. Bear with him. Give him two to three years, and we'll see what goes from there. Now, if things are still the same in two to three years, and they're still getting beat down in the MEAC and out of conference, then, you know, you can start to maybe call for his head a little bit. But give him some time, and we'll see what happens with him. Bethune-Cookman University, they beat Lane College 7-3. to three. I don't really know about Lane College, so... I'm not going to really go down that path. I'm just going to assume that Bethune Cookman was favored in that game because I've never heard of Lane College. And typically, if I've never heard of a college in their team, that means that they weren't favored to win. So, close win, but good job, Bethune Cookman. You win the game 7 to 3. A win is a win, whether you win by 50 points or whether you win by 2 points. So, good job, Bethune Cookman. And last but not least, we have Southeastern, which beat Concordia University into a pulp 37 to 0. Well done by Southeastern. They're going on a they're going on a war path. Uh, keep it up, Southeastern. You know you're doing really well right now in your conference. Uh, you have you have students from other schools that say they want to transfer to Southeastern because they're saying that's where it's at right now. So keep up the good work. Apparently, people are taking notice of what you're doing. And right now, fans are going to take a quick break, and we'll be back right back with some top 25 action. Thank you. You know how we do it, we have funky music in our ear We get to rock to ain't no fighting, we just in there trying to win Ooh yeah, la di la, we grinding hard Ooh yeah, we not gonna stop Yeah, 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 yeah Too late to turn back now We got work to do on a mission, by my business, I'm pushing through, I'm pushing through, no slacking, make it happen, we grinding, we grinding hard, we grinding hard. You know how we do it, we have funky music in our ear We get to right to ain't no fighting, we just in there trying to win Ooh yeah, la di la, we grinding hard Ooh yeah, we not gonna stop Yeah, 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 yeah Too late to turn back now I got work to do on a mission, by my business, I'm pushing through, I'm pushing through, no slacking, make it happen, we grinding, we grinding hard, we grinding hard. You know how we do it, we have funky music in our ear We get to right to ain't no fighting, we just in there trying to win Ooh yeah, la di la, we grinding hard Ooh yeah, we not gonna stop Yeah, 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 yeah. 
too late to turn back now. I got work to do on a mission, but my business, I'm pushing through, I'm pushing through.